Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us look at this interesting example related to trigonometry. We have been given that cos A equal to tan B, cos B equal to tan C and cos C equal to tan A. We have to find out the value of sin square A. We have been given cos A equal to tan B, cos B is tan C, cos C equal to tan A. We have to find out sin square A. Now the approach to solve this problem is we have to start from sin square A equal to 1 minus cos square A. Then try to convert B into to C's again and C into A so that we have LHS RHS a quadratic equation in sin square A. We solve that we will find out the value of sin square A. So to start with let us get the triangles here in place so that we can understand how A, B, C are related to each other. Now we have been given that cos A equal to tan B. Suppose I take a triangle in which angle is A cos of that A angle is tan B that is tan B by 1. Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. Similarly here cos B is tan C and cos C equal to tan A. We can fill the remaining side by using the Pythagoras theorem. We get 1 minus tan square B, 1 minus tan square C and 1 minus tan square A in roots. Now we can easily start with our first step and we will say that sin square A is equal to we go to the first triangle and we see that sin a equal to root of 1 minus tan square b divided by 1 that is equal to root of 1 minus tan square b whole square which is equal to 1 minus tan square b now since we have now tan square b we will move to now second triangle and we will see how we can write down tan b here tan b is nothing but opposite by adjacent that means this divided by this and we have to square it up so let's go to the next step and write down that means sin square a is equal to 1 minus of we will leave that tan square b is equal to opposite 1 minus tan square c divided by tan square c now we can simplify this and we can write down 1 minus 1 by tan square c plus 1 which is nothing but equal to 2 minus 1 by tan square c. Now we got sin square a in terms of c. Now let's go to the third triangle and get it back into a so that we can get a quadratic equation. So let's move to the next step. So sin square a equal to 2 minus 1 by tan square c that's equal to 2 minus cot square c. Now let's write down from the last triangle what is cot c. Cot c is adjacent by opposite and we have to square it up. So is it nothing but 2 minus tan square a divided by 1 minus tan square a? Now we seems to be in a good position now because we started with LHS as sin square A and we are getting in terms of A that's good news because we can write them as sin by cos and simplify we should be able to get a quadratic equation. So let's move to the next step. In the next step we will write down therefore sin square A is equal to 2 minus can I write down tan square a as sin square a by cos square a divided by again 1 minus sin square a divided by cos square a. Is it nothing but equal to 2 minus sin square a divided by cos square a minus sin square a if I simplify the denominators and cancel them. What we did here? this cos square a and cos square a will cancel when i take lcm i get 2 minus sin square a by cos square a minus sin square a now we lhs is sin square a rhs is everything sin square a other than this guy so we can write down cos square a as 1 minus sin square a we should be able to simplify that so let's move to the next step now we'll try to convert now we'll try to convert cos square a as 1 minus sin square a. So we'll write down 
टू माइनस साइन स्क्वेरिया डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस साइन स्क्वेरिया माइनस साइन स्क्वेरिया कैन आई राइट इट एस वन माइनस टू साइन स्क्वेरिया एट लास्ट वी गॉट अवर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन अबाउट टू कम इन साइन स्क्वेरिया बिकॉज आई कैन राइट इट एस टेक एलसीएम टू माइनस फोर साइन स्क्वेरिया माइनस साइन स्क्वेरिया डिवाइडेड बाय वन माइनस टू साइन स्क्वेरिया we took lcm here 2 into 1 minus 2 sin square a 2 minus 4 sin square a minus sin square a divided by 1 minus 2 sin square a so let's move to the next step that will be next step will be we can write down that's equal to 2 minus 5 sin square a divided by 1 minus 2 sin square a. Now we will take sin square a equal to x. We will take x equal to sin square a. So this becomes now 2 minus x equal to 2 minus 5x by 1 minus 2x. Let's do cross multiplication now. We get x minus 2x square. Equal to two minus five x. Can I take everything to right hand side? I will have two x square minus six x plus two equal to zero. Or can I say x square minus three x plus one equal to zero? Now we have that's a quadratic equation. We have to find out the value of x now, which is nothing but sine square y. So x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Solving by quadratic formula, y equal to 1, b equal to minus 3, c equal to 1, and the formula is minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2y. Let's substitute the values. We get minus b, that is b plus r minus square root of b square, that is 9. Minus 4ac that is 4 divided by 2 into a that's equal to 2. So we have two values. One is 3 plus root 5 by 2, and another is 3 minus root 5 by 2. Now out of this, only one value is correct. One value is wrong. Why? Because sine a values are values are between minus 1 to 1. So when sine a is between minus to 1. Sin a is between minus to one. Sin square a will be between zero to one. So the values cannot be more than one. So this case will become wrong because we get three plus two some change two point six. Whereas this case is fine because that comes around sin square a. When you do this case, we get three minus two point two some point seven eight divided by two, which is legal value between zero to one. In this case, it is wrong because three plus two point divided by two is more than one. It's coming around two two point six. So the answer for sine square a is three minus root five by two. So let's recap this. What we have done, we have been given that in it. We have cos a equal to tan b, cos b is tan c, cos c equal to tan u. We have to find out sine square a value. We try to represent this in triangular format so that we can make it simple. We started with sine square a with the first triangle, move to the second triangle, move to the third triangle, and we got a equation that sine to the power of four a minus three sine square a plus one equal to zero, which is a quadratic equation in sine square a. Taking x equal to sine square a, we got x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Using quadratic formula, x value seems to be 3 plus root 5 by 2 or 3 minus root 5 by 2. First value is wrong because sine square a should be between 0 to 1. So the second one we got is the correct answer. That is 3 minus root 5 by 2. So that's one interesting example which was asked by student. I just thought of sharing that with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.